Alexa, stop. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a super exciting video. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some sweaters I picked up from Amazon. Just gonna be trying them on for you, talking you through them and sharing my thoughts. So if you like testing videos, like I recently did trying faux leather leggings, Walmart jeans, today I'm doing Amazon sweaters, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love for you guys to stick around and join the fashion fun. I've been really enjoying <laughs> making these videos for you guys. It's just been a lot of fun and it's been really cool for myself to test out a lot of other products that I haven't tried out before. I've only ever bought one clothing piece from Amazon before. It's this little workout crop top that I really love. I just, I don't know. I feel like Amazon can be a little pricier when I could get something at Target or Walmart for a lot cheaper. So that's honestly why I've kind of stayed away from a lot of Amazon clothing, but I know it's really popular. So if you guys are interested in seeing more Amazon clothing, I would like to do like a wedding guest dress video. Let me know what you guys want to see below and let's hop right into it. So we're going to start off with this cardigan. I was thoroughly impressed with this cardigan. Y'all know I love camel, like the camel color, especially in the fall and winter. I think it is just a very beautiful neutral. It looks so good, crisp and clean with like a white cami. Like I styled this one underneath. It also just looks so good with black and with a bunch of other colors. It's so sleek and very sophisticated, I think. So I was really impressed with this sweater. I love that it has pockets and it's a very good length. I love that it goes way beyond, way below the bum. So you could wear leggings and it would, you would have no issues with this. I like that it's more of a structured fit. I think that's very flat. It's not very slouchy, which a lot of my sweaters tend to be on the slouchier side. So I really like that. It does overall on all of these sweaters, I would say they all have like a slight chemical scent to them. And I'm not like crazy big on like picking up scents and things like that. So the fact, I feel like the fact that I noticed there was a little chemical-y scent to all of these was interesting to me because I don't normally pick up on stuff like that. I was pretty impressed with the materials of these sweaters, specifically the um, cardigan, but I feel like the cardigan, if you dry it, I don't, it's kind of like plasticky that I feel like it would melt it a little bit. I don't know, I didn't look at any of the washing instructions for these. But overall, if you're looking for a good, um, like structured camel, cardigan. I think this is a great option. It's not the most affordable option you guys could find. The affordable one that I love is from H&M. I'll link that down below as well. All the links will be in the description box below for all these products. And then if I recommend something else will be down below. So I really love my camel cardigan from H&M. Mine is a little more on the slouchier side, but it's like $10 less. So do with the information what you will, but overall, I like the cardigan. It would be really great for workwear. But yeah, let's hop into sweater number two. Sweater number two is this pink sweater. And when I saw it online, I was like so excited. I knew I had to have this sweater. So snatch that up. This one comes in so many different colors, which is really great like for like sporting teams if you wanna find a specific color sweater. I guarantee you they probably have it there. So I was really excited about this. It looked really cute online. I'll insert the pictures of what online looked like. And I was like, oh, this looks like right up my alley. Of course I went with the pink. Honestly, I'm not very impressed with it. I did get a large in every single one of these sweaters. So that's typically the size I've been gravitating towards recently, but I have been working out and I've been seeing some changes in my sizing. So I really think like a medium would have been a lot better option on me. But then again, I feel like when you're buying things from like Amazon or Shein or like things like that, that it's always a good idea to size up. And I'd rather something be too big than too small. So I'm not very impressed with this sweater. I like the fit of it is not very flattering when it looked a lot more flattering online. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed. I really wanted to love this sweater, but I honestly just don't. I give it like a B minus. Like I was expecting an A plus on this. And so a B minus isn't bad, but just not really my favorite. Next sweater is this like window panel neutral sweater. I thought it would be a lot more like kind of like a camel color than it is. It is like straight like 
a yellow cream with the white window pane, which was a little interesting to me. I think that one smelled the most chemically to me out of all of these sweaters, just throwing that one out there. And the neck on this one, it just like this, the neck one on the pink one and the window pane one just like was a lot. And it just like hung over a little bit. I don't know, I think it's a cute sweater, but honestly, I have better options. Oh, and I kind of want to do like a my favorite sweaters video. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. But I think, I mean, it's a good sweater if you're looking for something on Amazon, if you need it in a pinch because you have that two day shipping. But I feel so bad, like none of these are like really my favorite sweaters. And I was pretty excited for this video. So I think that's all I have to say on the window pane sweater. Crickets, crickets, crickets. Anyways, I saved the best for last and that is the sweater I'm wearing in this video. This, I saw my friend, the classic Madison, wearing this on Instagram last season and I added it to my car. I just never hit purchase, I don't know why. Free People has a sweater identical to this that has been the top of my wish list for quite some time that comes in a bunch of different colors that is just so beautiful. So I was gonna get the Free People one just because I know the quality will be a thousand times better. And I feel like it could be a sweater that I would wear for many, many years. And so I'm also glad that I tried the Amazon version out first before purchasing the Free People. That way I know my thoughts on the fit. Overall, I think this is a very beautiful sweater. The neckline is just like, it's, it's stunning. It's such like a skinny, like um, boat neck oval neckline i think it's very flattering it is such a good length especially if you're more on the petite side this would be a really great just sweater dress it does go below my butt so i'd probably wear like i would be fine wearing spanx leather leggings with this and just this sweater so i think you can have a lot of variety in this and i am five six so i'm a bit on the taller side according to the statistics of women's height on google <laughs> but yeah i just think this is a really great option this does come in a lot of different colors this is definitely my favorite out of all of these sweaters i just feel like this is something that fits my style and my wardrobe a little bit better you can't go wrong with a classic white sweater we know i love white sweaters shocking but I think it's really great. I just come in a light pink that I think I might pick up to try. But if you're looking into getting the Free People one and you don't want to spend the $125 that the Free People sweater is, this is a great option to replace instead. I have not tried the Free People one, but I want to. It's on my list to try. But I have been really enjoying this current sweater. I think it's a great option. And yeah, so let's go over and rate all of the sweaters. I know I only rated one of them. So the camel sweater, I'm gonna give, like, I'll give it a solid A. I think it is a great sweater. I just don't like the price point for it being Amazon. I feel like if you're buying something from Amazon, it's because it's cheaper and that is not the cheaper option. So that's my complaint on that. My complaint on the pink sweater is probably, just the fit is not my favorite and the, neck the cow neck is just like a lot of material so i would give that one like a b b minus like none of these are bad sweaters they're just not the best you know and i'm not gonna lie to you people i'm not gonna lie to you the window pane sweater i think i rated that one did i that's my least favorite out of this video pretty sure i'm gonna give that one like a b minus two like there's nothing wrong with it it's just not the best and the current sweater that i'm wearing right now i'm giving an a a solid a really great option i think it's soft it's stretchy it's comfortable i think this would be good for lounging around dressing up all those sorts of things and i love the shade range that it comes in so i think those are all of the sweaters I have to share with you guys. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hopefully I'll have a better luck in the next video. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. See you guys next time. Bye.